This is the first in a series of videos where I'll discuss good math hygiene. And hygiene in life is any habit that you have that reduces the chance of getting disease and it makes you overall healthy. And so good math hygiene is the same way. They're habits that make us have a better chance of uh, evaluating things correctly. And so this math tip is the best way to substitute into an expression is to use parentheses. Now it's parentheses, not parenthesis. So the parenthesis is singular and parentheses is plural, meaning we use more than one of those signs. Um, and in case you need a way to remember that, it's that uh, the 95 theses of Martin Luther that he posted on the church door when he was protesting the indulgences of the Catholic Church. He didn't post 95 theses, he posted 95 theses. Anyway, so here's an example. So we have a minus bc minus, a two, uh, minus d squared. And here are some values that we need to substitute into this expression. And this is doing it by the book. We write each of the values in parentheses. Um, and when we s simplify it, uh, 1 will be just remain 1, negative 3 times minus 2, negative 2 is going to be positive 6, so we're going to subtract positive 6, minus 6, and then negative 3 squared is going to be 9, and we're going to subtract that. So 1 minus 6 minus 9, which is equal to negative 14. And this is the good way of doing it, and it's clear what we have to do at any point in time, because the multiplication is clearly laid out. But suppose you did it in a bad way, you didn't put things in parentheses, and you just kind of wrote them out. First of all, it's much less aesthetically pleasing, and it's harder to keep track of like where a number ends, what's a minus sign, what's a negative sign, and what's going on. And uh, of course, you could write a negative sign above, but it's, it's better to keep it as one symbol. Ideally, you never actually need to write a tiny little negative sign next to a number. You, you can just use one, like a minus sign, and a negative sign should look exactly the same. Uh, if you're doing it right. And uh, when we simplify this, you might be tempted, because the uh, exponent only applies to the 3, to find that first. Uh, so we have 3 squared is equal to 9. We're subtracting negative 9 then, and we're having a, a plus 9 at the end. And this is bad, bad news, because the 9 is going to be added at the end. Um, because we didn't square negative 3, we squared only the 3. And so you're going to get a wrong answer just because you didn't um, order the information properly when you substituted. So a lot of mistakes occur like this. Uh, it's always good to use parentheses. It's the most elegant. Sometimes you could use dots, but I feel like in this case, but I feel like in general, uh, that doesn't look too pretty. I think parentheses is the cleanest way to do it because it, all you need to do is literally replace the letter uh, with your number in the parentheses.